Hola mis amigas, good afternoon, it's so good to see you, thanks so much for stopping by, it's your girl Daniela here at 4Lizard and today I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of goodies that I picked up at my local Joann's, mostly from the Happy Planner but also I got some goodies from other um, paper craft and papery brands as well and I'm so 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 excited to be diving into all these new paper crafting goodies so if you're interested in checking out what i got just keep on watching all right so i have a little bit of a mixed uh, bag of feelings when it comes to shopping hauls and you know hauls in general on my channel um, I really do enjoy watching people's shopping hauls because I like to see what people get and their reasoning behind purchasing whatever they purchased. I also just like to see um, people reviewing items. I mean, usually when people do hauls, it's not really an in-depth review, but you kind of do get like first impressions and you get to see whatever it is that they purchased a little bit, um, you know, up close and such. That being said, I do think that YouTube and haul culture kind of exasperates this overall like consumerism culture that we have going on and I don't want to feed into that, I don't want to encourage that, but at the same time I do think that, you know, I do appreciate watching people um, kind of share what they purchased and why they purchased it. So yeah, I don't want to make calls like a big thing on my channel, but I do, you know, don't I don't want to never do them because I do see value in them and I do enjoy them myself at times. So yeah, I just want to put that out there that I don't think there is a straight answer to this question about whether people should do hauls or not. But I do want to recognize that there is that, you know, that that more shady under underbelly to this whole idea and concept of hauls on YouTube. Um, that being said, you know, I do purchase, people purchase things, people do buy things, um, whether you film it or not, people are buying things. And so, yeah, so I just wanted to make a note of that and reference that and, you know, share that with you. But yeah, I got all of these goodies at my local Joann's and I got all of these goodies. I treated myself to this paper crafting shopping bonanza because I finished my sixth year in graduate school. Um, yeah, my sixth year, I can't believe it. I remember when I first started six years ago, I was such a baby. I had no idea where this career, this journey would take me. And it's been one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life is to, um, achieve a doctorate and so every year after my final exam we, well i don't really have like an exam in the traditional sense i have a committee meeting which kind of acts as like my final exam it's not me sitting down with a piece of paper like a traditional university exam it's me sitting in front of five phds um, five doctors in my field and getting grilled about my research i mean my experience has been less of a grilling experience as the years have passed and it's more of experience for me to get honest um, feedback on my research and my work i mean long story short i finished my sixth year in graduate school and i passed my sixth year exam which is always an intense experience and so every year after i finish my final exam um, i always treat myself to a little bit of a shopping bonanza and um, last year i remember i got myself some oracle decks and some bracelets and I forget what else I got. I feel like I got something else. Uh, this year, I'm super into the Happy Planner and all things paper craft. So I treated myself to a Happy Planner paper craft haul. So that is what I'm going to share with you today. And I bought all of this with my own money. And yeah, I'm just going to share with you what I got and why I got it. And yeah, I just, I, I, I like... I personally like watching people's hauls. I like seeing what they buy, and so um, I kind of like. I kind of also live vicariously through people's hauls sometimes. So I hope that you enjoy this haul, and yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any of these goodies that I picked up and your thoughts about them. I would love to know. So let's get started. I'll start with the planners first. So I got this at Joann's, and I 
purchased all of this in store. I'm not a big online purchaser because I try to avoid all the shipping and handling fees and packaging and I'd rather just go in store and pick it up. But so I got this. <laughs> uh, Bugs got his water all over my planner cover. So the first thing I got was this uh, guided journal from the Disney Mickey Mouse collection. So I already kind of opened and modified some of the stuff that I picked up. So this is um, a guided journal from the Mickey Mouse Disney collection and I already changed the discs and I added a bunch of other stuff to this uh, guided journal so that it is much thicker than what it was when I first purchased it and I put it on metal expander discs and I gave it like these multicolored expander discs so it came with black plastic discs when I first bought it and it was 80 pages of a guided journal and I changed I changed it up um, I put it on these expander discs and then I added a bunch of stuff in it already. So I'm going to show you the dividers and what came in it. So it came with these really gorgeous dividers. So this blue divider, this purple divider, see the good in all things, this pink divider that says happy day. And um, it came with 80 sheets of this here. Let me show you. Let me flip to the page. And it came with 80 sheets of, uh, of guided journaling pages and it looks something like this. So it gives you a, a, an overview page that says list out three things that are making me feel comforted, inspired, happy, two actions I can take to achieve one goal this week. So it kind of is a weekly overview page and then it has um, daily pages, daily journaling pages. And they're each slightly different. The prompt at the top is slightly different. The prompts in the smaller boxes are slightly different, um, but overall it kind of has a similar layout. And it also has a page of just plain dot grid paper. And then it goes back into the weekly overview and then again, um, the daily pages. So it came with 80 pages of this particular format. And the reason I got this, um, this particular uh, guided journal was because I wanted some daily pages and um, I thought I really liked this format because I not only want to use them for like daily journaling pages like they're meant to be used but I also kind of want to modify them to be more like daily productivity pages like I could definitely just like white this out or cover it and have this be a to-do list I can write my daily schedule down here I can write the things that I want to accomplish in here and I can also leave things like this mood box or with those um, this grateful box down here I can leave that as well so I thought these were really great pages for daily productivity sheets daily um, mood tracking sheets uh, daily journaling sheets so I I was really inspired by this particular um, this guided journal and also I just wanted to get a a, a, like a notebook like a happy planner notebook because I needed a planner to put in all of my like daily sheets and all of my extra happy planner sheets that were floating around that didn't really have like a particular planner to them and so my plan was to get like a happy journal not not a planner but like a, more of a notebook and then I would use it to put in all of the all of the extra happy planner pages that I have that don't necessarily fit in any other of my planners. So for example, um, I got a six month extension pack from the happy planner in the Disney style. And that was kind of acting as like my scrapbook and memory planner. And, um, yeah. And so I just, I had that extension pack, but I didn't have like a planner to put these pages into. Um, because I take out every single when, once once a month finishes in my planner um, I end up taking out those pages so that my planner doesn't like my everyday catch-all planner doesn't get super thick so I started so here are like um, so these are six months or I guess it's like three months four months this is four months of that six month extension pack that I bought and so they're all like filled but I just didn't have like a planner to put them in and so now I do because I have this kind of like catch-all miscellaneous planner and then also I have a bunch of daily sheets that I have uh, you know I used previously and I don't want to throw them away because I like saving them but also I just didn't have a place to put them and so I popped them in here now 
And then I also have a bunch of plain like daily sheet um, classic paper in here that is just blank and I just wanted to put them somewhere where they could be safe and be housed and so that's this this planner is now where I have all of all of these sections. I also have like a bunch of extra um, vertical uh, sheets from my undated planners that I just because um, they come with kind of they come with a couple of extra sheets and so I just had a bunch of extra sheets lying around and so I wanted to put them somewhere and so I decided to get a happy notes and I, I my plan was to get a happy notes put it on expander disc so it could you know have it could it could um, have a lot of pages in it and then just have it be like my miscellaneous happy planner sheets and everything that you know needs a home to live in so I got this uh, this guy for that and I'm very very happy with how it turned out I think the the different colors of the expander discs are so so cute and I just love the color block Mickey Mouse um, format so there's that moving on I got another planner this is a classic color plug vertical planner and this is the the jungle vibes planner that says be aware that you are rare on the front when i saw this planner come out i knew that i really really wanted it because it's so gorgeous and i love the colorful jungle theme and i'm so so happy i finally got this so it has a pretty neutral layout with the um with the calendar overview and the perpetual calendar it's pretty neutral and then the currently monthly overviews are also pretty neutral. This is probably my least favorite of currently pages for the monthlies because they are so neutral. I kind of um, like a little bit of color on my, on my monthly overviews, but um, I'm okay with it. And the dividers are just so gorgeous. The monthly calendar views are very neutral. And then the weeklies are also neutral as well, except that they have a lot of grayscale going on in the actual um, days. And I like this, this style because um, Saturday and Sunday are kind of left blank. And then they have, you have this like grid box here that says weekend plans. And yes, I'm really excited for this planner. So. I want to use this for my YouTube channel um, because I really want to uh, be consistent with my YouTube and continue to grow this channel and share my content and be creative with my YouTube. So this planner is going to be all for my YouTube and um, I'm really, really excited to use this planner. So these dividers are just gorgeous. Stay fierce. This is the cover. We have this beautiful stripe cover wild at heart i love this one we have a green leopard print another jungle print this one is gorgeous be authentically you i love when they have foil on their dividers as well and then enjoy your life another uh, cheetah print and then we have some cheetahs here a lion that says you are strong and brave a zebra um, print, kind heart, brave soul, fierce mind. And the last one that we have are these panthers that say wild and beautiful. So yes, I love, love, love this jungle theme. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this planner. I love animals. I am such like, I, I love animals. I, I study animal behavior and so I just, this is perfect for me. I knew that I wanted to get this planner as soon as it came out, and so I finally ended up getting this. And to go with that planner, of course, I picked up the Jungle Vibe sticker book from the Happy Planner. Ugh, these stickers are just absolutely gorgeous, and they're gonna go so well with the jungle, with the with the planner. So I knew this is another this is another thing that I knew I was gonna get eventually, and so I I just finally went and picked it up. And it has such a good variety of full box stickers, of functional box stickers, of um, of of monthly boxes and they have also these bigger boxes which I love when the happy planner gives us a bunch of big boxes and I love these longer boxes as well I love putting them in the sidebars 
yeah and so it, we just have a bunch of transparent stickers and decorative stickers and clear stickers we have even letter stickers and um, animal stickers some washi strips and yeah just a bunch of good stickers here so I have I got the jungle vibes sticker book to go along with my jungle vibes planner and then let's talk about the rest of the stickers that I got because I got a bunch of stickers I got two more sticker books so I got the accessory book for the pressed florals and this was another book sticker book that as soon as I saw it I knew I wanted to get it because it is so gorgeous I love that it comes with the, these to do um, sheets as well as four different types of sticky notes I love using sticky notes to help me pre-plan and I do end up going through them quite a bit so I'm always looking for sticky notes and then for the stickers um, we have a good amount of decorative floral stickers as well as um, some clear floral stickers and we have a bunch of boxes, which I absolutely love because boxes for me are my favorite type of sticker because they're so functional and they're so pretty. So yeah, we have a bunch of box stickers and we have a bunch of decorative stickers as well here in the front. I particularly love these full box decorative stickers. They're so gorgeous. So I got this accessory book um, for the pressed florals. And this is something that I kept on going back and forth on because generally I'm not a huge Disney princess fan, but these are just so, so pretty. And I just kind of wanted to um, feel my Disney princess fantasy for a moment. I just kind of wanted to, to just like return to that, um, that inner little girl in me that really loved princesses. And I just wanted to decorate my planner with these beautiful boss babes and to be more in touch with the divine feminine and so I just felt like um, picking up these Disney princess stickers and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. I, I really um, I just want to connect more to feminine figures and I thought this was a good way to go with that so I got the Disney princess sticker book. I think this one is called Princess Magic. Yes, Princess Magic. And then, as if that were not enough, I picked up, let's see, how many did I pick up? I picked up four different packs of Mambi sticks. So let me share with you what I got. I got, let's see if I can zoom out because these are huge. These sticker books are absolutely huge. Do you hear that? Those, that's a bunch of birds just squawking. But I got this pack. Um, this is the first one I picked out. And so this is like the Squad Girls uh, Mambi sticks. And these are huge stickers. They're mostly paper stickers, I believe. And they're just like the Squad Girl type of stickers. And I have to say that um, Happy to Plan with Desiree, she really inspired me to get these because before watching her videos and seeing her spreads, I was not super into the squad girls and they just just seeing her how she used them I, like they really really grew on me and I just now I think they're the cutest and most adorable things and again I just like seeing like I just like having a lot of women representation in my planner it definitely it just makes me feel more empowered and more like I just feel more connected um, I'm trying to be like be more conscious about uh, seeking out you know female representation and turning to female role models and so this is like an easy way to get, get in touch with femininity and you know celebrate your womanhood and so I just got these um, squad girls mambi sticks I think these are gonna be great for the summer these are um, seasonally themed so we have like spring ones we have autumn ones we have like Christmas ones we have summer ones and I cannot wait to get into the summer ones for this summer okay and so for the rest of the mambi stick packs i got four in total and the other three everything i said about you know celebrating womanhood celebrating femininity wanting to be in be more in touch with femininity um but just by seeing it represented in like your everyday planner spreads all that <laughs> that's why i got these three mambi sticks <laughs> okay i'm trying to i'm trying to justify <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to justify myself um 
but I got two Rongrong Mambi sticks and ugh, they're so gorgeous. The Rongrong girls are just absolutely fabulous and I love their 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 fashion. I love their how empowered they are and I just I love how beautiful they all look and I'm really trying to focus on my self-care and how I present myself and um, just taking care of myself and you know like taking the extra five minutes in the morning to put on a lipstick or you know change out of my sweatpants even if I'm working from home and put on a dress or something just to make myself feel you know just a little bit polished and just to bring my like self-esteem and like my self-perception up you know just a couple of notches not that I don't look beautiful in sweatpants without makeup but you know taking that moment to like um to really like pamper yourself and take care of yourself it really does you know it does wonders for your soul and your spirit and so i'm hoping the wrong wrong girls will inspire me to really focus on myself and how i present myself and so i got two of the wrong wrong mambi sticks and all of these were 40 percent off at my joanne so i got them on a good deal Yes, but the Rong Rong girls are just so, so fabulous and I'm really excited for these, for these Mambi sticks. And then the last Mambi sticks that I got, well I guess these aren't Mambi sticks, but they're definitely those bigger stickers. I got the Disney Princess stickers, so um, these have uh, the uh, Jasmine, they have... Um, I think her name is is it Rapunzel? I'm not sure the names of all of the Disney princesses. I definitely know Mulan and Pocahontas. I don't know the newer ones as much. Like this this girl's from Brave, and this girl's from Moana. Is her name Moana? <laughs> um, the names to me aren't as important as their their image and what they represent. So yeah, I'm so excited for these stickers as well. So there we go. So those were all of the Mambi sticks and then the, I got two like accessory type things from the Happy Planner. The first was a little planner accessories pack um, and this just has notebook paper, stickers, a folder, a bookmark, and some uh, sticky notes. And um, this is in that like painterly pastel um, like color scheme which I think is really beautiful. I mostly wanted this for the stickers and the bookmark and um, yeah so I'm excited to play around with that. And then I also got a little um, sticky notes uh, like dashboard which is in that colorful leopard um, like aesthetic which i love the colorful record i got the sticky um i mean the sticker book already and i think these would be great to act as stickers um i could definitely see myself using like tape adhesive to um, stick these on a spread and have them act more as stickers as opposed to sticky notes but i knew i wanted this too when i saw it come out so i got that and then i got three packs of washi tape from Park Lane Papery. These were 50% off at uh, at my Joann's and so I just had to pick them up because these are just gorgeous and I've already opened um, some of them. Let me, let me just open these so I can get rid of the packaging. Um, so I got this this pack of seven washi tape. They're all packs of seven and they all come in like a particular color scheme so this was um, the purple color scheme and I've been uh, wanting to get washi that is a little bit more kind of like supplementary and soft a lot of the washi that I have right now is very bold and bright and it kind of acts as like a centerpiece um, in the spread but I kind of wanted a washi that was a little bit more subtle and act to act more as an accent in sh in spreads and not be so bold so I saw these and I thought these would be perfect to be like accent washi so I got this pack of purple washi so set that aside and then I also got this pack which was kind of like a celestial theme and I was kind of back and forth about this one but then I ended up just grabbing it because it was 50% off and it was the last one on the shelf and so I was like oh I don't want to regret this so I picked this um, this this these 
so I picked up this um, pack of washi tape and I think uh, these washi in particular um, I'm the most drawn to I love this purple one and I think all of these are like very muted and they would work great as accent washi so we have this this pack and then lastly I got this black and white pack of washi and again because black and white washi is just so such a staple and I could use this in all kinds of spreads and so I was like I have to uh, pick this up I don't have any black and white washi and um, I thought it would be great to add this to my like paper craft stash so let's pull these out so there we go those are the black and white washi tapes that I got from this pack and I love how they give you like a variety of like skinnier washi and thicker washi so yeah so there we go there is the um that is the third pack of washi tape and these turned out to be three dollars and thirty cents something like that because they were 50 percent off so i got all of these washi tapes for um under ten dollars which i think is a deal i'm always looking for a deal when i buy like paper crafting stuff because it can get pricey and the last two things that i got were like pens um because of course you know you gotta you gotta write in all the all the planner spreads you do so i got this pack of jelly roll moonlight pens gel pens um and they have a variety of 0.3 and 0.6 pens and i got the neon color the neon color pack well i guess these are neon and these are kind of more like jewel tones but i've always been a fan of the jelly roll um, gel pens i think they write really smoothly and they just show up so beautifully and i thought it would be fun with summer coming up to do like a neon you know to write with neon gel pens and of course jewel tones are the always i can always use jewel tones but yeah i got this pack of gel pens and um I used a 40% off coupon to get this. Um, all the Happy Planner stuff was 30% off. Uh, so that was, that was, I got a deal on that. But these pens are never really on sale. And so I always try to um, use a coupon. And Joanne's always has like 40% off or even 50% off coupons. And so I used a 40% off coupon to buy this came with 10 gel pens we have like five neon colors and five jewel tones so yeah i'm really excited to be working with these gel pens and the last thing that i got i already took it out of its packaging because i did get it a few days ago this is all kind of cumulative i didn't buy all of this in one shopping trip um, but yeah, I went to several Joann's and I used the coupon several times because you can only use that 40% off coupon like once every trip. So I made sure to go a few times so I could use it as much as possible. But the last thing that I got was I got a pack of eight of these Micron pens. So these are one of my favorite pens to use um, in my planner. And I had just finished up the last of my Micron pens. I had a pack of, I believe, three, three Micron pens. And I finally used up the last one. And I really, really liked it. And I really missed it. And so I ended up going to go get another pack of Micron pens. And this time I got the eight pack. And I used a 40% off coupon to get this pack. Yeah, so that is, um, that's the last thing I got. I already have put them in my pen case because I've been using them. But yeah, so that is, that's, that's all I got. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to be diving into all these goodies. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm so excited. And, you know, uh, for me, this is a passion. This is my creative outlet. I am an artist. I do paint. I do pastel. I, I use a lot of traditional art mediums. And for me, like crafting and stickers and washi tape that's all mixed media to me it's all a form of artistry and so for me this is like getting new paint it's like getting new canvases it's like getting you know new color pencils it's all for me a form of art and what's nice about you know planning and paper craft is that it does have like a dual function in that it's not just uh it's not just 
artistry it's like also functional in that you're like planning towards something you're creating you know a strategy or a plan to achieve a particular goal in your life whether that be you know finishing your phd or running a marathon or um you know keeping track of your nutrition keeping track of your self-care it's all goes back to doing something good for you and your life and so it uh, ever since i discovered planning and paper craft it's really like i've really fallen in love with it because not only is it artistry it's also functional and it kind of like kills two birds with one stone kind of thing so yeah i'm such a fan such a fan so yes um thanks for checking out this video let me know what you thought <laughs> what was your favorite thing that i hauled today definitely let me know and i'll catch you in my next video all right everyone bye